loot. Go right here. And just try to make sure we don't get any... We don't get, like, massively attacked. It's my only worry. Excellent! It's my only worry right now, but I think we'll be fine. Immediately intervene. Apparently there's some massive rebels of British Red Guards. Too, too bad if they were Indian nationalists. They would probably succeed pretty well of conquering all of India. Okay. We're just slowly... I think we're just slowly bypassing all their fleets, which is good. Okay, we're going to actually dock up right there if we can. Yeah, please leave. Please leave my old sphere of influence. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We made it to our land without any trouble. Good job. Get defensive... De dig defensive systems. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gunzai is going to get conquered, so now China is going to become an insanely big power. Like, we're going to see an insanely new China going to form. The Tunisian nationalists have formed. I don't know why. Because they want to, I guess. I don't cause them any trouble, and they still like to form their own nationalist union. Whatever. I'm not hurt or anything like that. Let's go onto the ships. Let's get on to over here. Get up a decent sized army built up. Yeah, I already knew he was going to lose. Okay. Get all of this over here. Get all this over there. Share prestige. There we go. A decent sized army of four different troops. Get them all onto the boat. And go send them over here to go help we conquer all of our land. Or I could just give the Tajian nationalists their freedom. Which honestly would not deeply disappear to me. Because I don't like the maintenance. But I do also like the population. But I don't like the maintenance. So don't, but I do like the population. Alright. Go right here. I'm gonna go send my troops down there. That way we can make sure we don't get attacked by uh, Japanese sailors. Okay, there we go. Combine all you guys. Get them on the ships. Go right here. Get them all the way to sea. Okay. Go start conquering. Go help the Portuguese a little bit conquer. There we go. And I apparently won some battles. I didn't even know I did. The Japanese are apparently over there. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, we're just going to casually conquer all this. Okay, keep moving on. Ooh, yeah. Just keep conquering everything. We lost a battle, probably somewhere in there. Oh my goodness, they took they took a lot of men in mine. That is not good. So, just retreat back to our land. Oh yeah, seems like Tajia might actually gain the independence. I can't actually help it. Uh, that kind of stinks. And it seems like the Ottomans are falling apart. This would be the perfect time to attack them, but I can't. And, you know, if we do lose a part of this, I actually would not mind. Because we've, we've honestly kept that for long enough in the game. And at this point in the game, Tajina actually does not become that worthwhile. Yeah, you guys you guys can honestly free yourself. I don't really care. I mean, it just means less maintenance for us. And they can honestly have it. I'll be honest, it doesn't really matter that much that they don't, that they do have it, but there we go. Let's just try to reconquer what we need for us, and we'll be fine. Uh, the, oh, the Americans entered in the war. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Oh, and they want all of guns out to be free. Ooh, that's not... See, if America actually lands troops on their land, that's basically game over. I don't think the uh, Japanese will be, I mean, not Japanese, the Chinese will be able to deal with that. So, yeah, they better hope that, you better, they better hope that they do not land any soldiers on their fleets. Otherwise, this could end pretty badly for them. Like, insanely badly. But we are reconquering, we conquered all the stuff we needed to. The war, go, the war exhaustion should start to turn into our favor. Which is good. Um, I'm gonna make sure none of my land is occupied. Actually, it's better just to look over here. Battles. Okay, so it's only battles we've lost. That's good. It's a good thing it's not actual, like, men. Tajia is back in the game. It's still a primitive nation, so I could go attack if I wanted to. 
they're apparently we're at war with 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 uh, Russia. Why are we at war with Russia? Oh no, we are at war with Russia. Okay, they're at war with Russia for a different reason. Why are you at war with Russia? Oh, Poland. And somehow there's an alliance with the Ottoman Empire again. Shoot. Let's see. Oh no no no, it's separate. Yeah, it's separate. Okay, good. They're not allied with the with the Ottoman Empire. Good. Okay, we're gonna go pick up our man over here. Uh, do, do, do. this might be an insanely short amount of time. Get on the boats, and Japan increasingly controls more and more the more we get closer to their main island. So, whew. I don't think we. I definitely don't think we should actually do an, an actual invasion of the island. That would actually think hinder us more than it would help us. But what should we do? That's the question. Because all we just want one thing. We really don't want anything else in this war. <sighs> hmm. Haiti goes bankrupt. That's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, and then the Ottomans going collapsing. I'm definitely going to declare war on the Ottomans once I get a chance. But, hmm. We need to do a little bit more pressure onto them, but I don't... Uh, let's see. Let's look at where they're... Let's look at where they... Where they are in terms of... Enemies. No, I meant diplomacy-wise. Where is our enemies? We could try to go to Okinawa. Hmm. We could try. We could also try some island hopping too. Yeah, I think island hopping would be slightly bit safer. Let's go island hopping, everyone. Micronesia. Ottomans have completely collapsed again. That's good. This is really insanely helping us. Um. And what we could possibly do, if we really wanted to, we could try to also gain this state right here. That way, if we wanted to, we could try to just own this entire island. Because, I mean, this region's a part of what region? North Bono? Yeah, if we were to add a war score of acquire a state of North Bono, Japan, North Bono, we instantly already have it in our care, so I think that actually give us more war score already. Plus, if we did go after Brunei by ourselves and just took it over, then we could make maybe make that instantly into a state. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking a lot right now, people. Because right now, expansion is what we need to be doing. Now that we have some good expansionist things going on, we need to make sure we keep expanding. We also need to make sure no Japanese people come near us. Okay, now we got this. Go right here. Wait, why am I doing this the long way? Go right here. Get on the boats. Okay, can we go inside the other islands? No. We have to actually island hop one by one. Which is fine by me. Okay, we just have to keep our cool. Get onto the islands. Okay, go to the next island. I just realized I just gained a lot of infamy for taking that one little tiny province. Oh well. <laughs> kicking, J kicking Japan out of Indonesia, I think will greatly calm my nerves. So that I honestly have a good empire built down there. Out organized tech. Got that down with. Jason new keys. 70% of my culture is now literate. Gosh dang, we are very bookwormy people. I swear, by the time this, by the time 1810 rolls around, we will have like 100% literacy. And right now, Japan is honestly losing. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we have conquered a lot of their land. We've island hopped a lot of their places. Okay, next island hop is the is the Taruji Bay. Yep. Gonna island hop right here, get out, do, 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 do. Just casually, 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 casually factory output. 
And I'm sorry guys, but that's the end of the episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, welcome back everyone to probably the last episode I'm going to be recording today. Uh, I have recorded a lot today, but yeah, we've been island hopping on Japan, casually, you know, casually doing it because we can't go to war right now against the uh, Ottomans, but that should be changing here very soon because our peace treaty with them is soon going to run out, which means we're going to go destroy them. Like We are literally going to go and destroy them flat out. They will not live after we are done with them. But in the meantime, though, we have almost completely destroyed the uh, empire over here. I mean, the Japanese have almost lost all of their islands. They've lost almost all communication with the outside islands. We've completely isolated them to just their island. And we're going to go take a quick break over here in Borno. And then maybe from there launch a little bit of an offensive against the actual Japanese homeland. Which I think would give us a lot of militaristic score. We have to be very careful though. Because we would not we don't have entirely enough men to hold the area. We just have to give it we just have to hold it long enough for them to think that that uh we're great. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Okay, but let's get some more technological advancements. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. This way. This way. Go that way, go that way. I'll be able to escape before they'll be able to get to me. Okay. Okay. Now that I'm away, go right here. And then go right there. I'm going to take a gigantic loop. Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get it, get away, get it, get it, get, get away, get it done, get away. Get away, yeah, I always say get away. Okay, colonial, whatever. I don't care. Okay. Get onto the land. That could come in handy. Ha ha. Save myself. So yeah, we just like lost six of our men to this, and now we're stranded. Great! Japan, you're about ready to give up. <laughs> so I really don't want to be fighting this for about 16 years again. That, that really was too long the first time. Okay, let's see. Eastern Macedonia, let's see. Do we still got truces? truces? Okay, and apparently that other war is still going on, so we can't do that either. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck here until... So, yeah, apparently we can't do anything until, like, a couple things come about. Uh, we, I don't think we'll be able to get any closer to the Japan, Japan, so I think what we're going to do is just casually retreat out of this. Because, as, as, as I've seen, there's absolutely no point in trying to... Yeah, J Japan just honestly on the ball when it comes to destroying ships, so I'm just going to up, dock up my soldiers here. And we're casually losing more and more soldiers each time, so I'm going to start increasing the militaristic spending. Because we're slowly but surely losing more and more military output, which is kind of disturbing me just a little bit. Uh, but as it turns out, a war with Japan is... Seeming infinite for its wise wisdom is the fact that we cannot, for the life of us, figure out how to do any of this. Eventually, though, this should tear it into the Japan's uh, psyche that we are probably going to win this. It's just going to take a little bit. And then we also have to wait for the other war between the French and the... Uh... Russian alliance, which is completely understandable. Um, yeah, that's gonna be. We have to wait for this war to end, basically. Guys, dang it. Okay, so apparently that war ended. The French war ended. Let's see, did we gain what we wanted? Yes! We gained everything we wanted. So now this is Greek Asia. We got some new minerals. Some new precious metals and some sulfide so we can actually start building guns if we really wanted to. Um, 
In terms of people, we now starting to, uh... We actually have our own factory built up here already in, in Greek North Bono. That's kind of cool. So, it's instantly already a country. So what we can now do is... Justify war of establishing a protectorate over Brunei, but apparently that's not, they're protected by Japan, so never mind. Let's go send our troops back all the way home and start building up an army again and wait for. Uh, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack the. Uh, a. the uh, Ottomans until I am ready. And it seems like Romania is really expanding. They've insanely expanded aggressively. And apparently, uh, Serbia... No, Serbia still got its land. Good. I thought Serbia had lost some of its land, but apparently it got some of it back. Um... We have lots of national decisions. Tri of course, now everyone wants minimum wage. Alright, I'll give it to them. I'm really not too big on not keeping people from paying what they want. Uh, it seems like we're more capital socialist than I ever thought we'd ever be in my life. But that is fine with me. We can be as socialist as we want. Okay, we got combustion engine, which that should give us a lot. Um, internal parts, jigs. Okay, we are... I think we now got it. We're now starting to become in the rapid age. Uh, protective terrorists, protective this. Um... And yeah, next war we're going to do is just going to be against the, uh, um, an empire. Um, and I'm waiting for the French to finish up their war against the, uh, whatever war they're doing right now. I don't know what war they're doing. Uh, Itali there's, a, there's the Italian war going on, and then there's the Russian war right here that's going on. Where even the Prussians are backing them up. Uh, and then America's also fighting against... Gunzai for all its aggressiveness expansion reasons, which I actually do agree. They need to stop China from becoming that big. Tantrum discovered oil. Yes. Okay, so now we are now an oil tycoon, which doesn't usually happen actually in this game. Um, you don't hear about Greece becoming an oil tycoon. I gotta say that. So now we have all this, and now we actually have decent amount of time to create an army again. Okay. Oh yes. This could come in handy. Rubber, yes! Oh, yes! Oh my goodness, that is what we definitely needed. Mm. Okay, so let's see. How does our army look? Pretty beaten, pretty battered from all the stuff we've had to do. Uh, let's go send over these guys, and what we'll start doing is start building up the new army. Uh, we could honestly declare war right now on the Ottomans. I'm pretty sure they are, like, way more powerful than us. At this current stage, yeah, but they're fully deployed though, but they're still more powerful. Power is still based on everything. I think the French just ended their wars. No, they're still at war. Um, we have to just wait until that ends and then we can finally go in and go fight the, uh, let's go. I really don't, I think I'm going, not going interventionist. Let's go right here, going to go send this army back to the mainland. Yeah. And now we can start actually building an army again, which is good. We know about 30 men is about 50. The French need my help in the franco prussian War. Would you guys just allied with the... That makes absolutely no sense. They were just allied with the Prussians. Wow, the Prussians really turned their backs quickly. The first great- oh my goodness, we're fighting the first great war! Shoot! <laughs> um, um, uh, uh, that wasn't my intention. Oh, shoot. France, Italy, oh no. That was not my intention. Oh no. I didn't know this was becoming a great war. I thought they were just- oh no. So guys, this is the first great war! Completely and utterly not what we expected because France is at its ultimate weakest and honestly everyone else is at its ultimate strongest. I think I think they're gonna be able to push through Prussia pretty easily, but uh I think I, I think for once France bit off more than they can chew. That's like look at this. That's like almost 
Okay, Austria is finally done fighting. That's good. So now Italy can focus in on the people that aren't really attacking them. But they did lose a good amount of their land in that they lost Milan and Florsia. That should keep them in great power status, though, I think. Um, we're just trying to win right now. The, the battle isn't really hasn't really turned to anyone's favor. We've lost a little bit of industrial power because of this stupid party that keeps going in. They keep keep going in there. Okay, protect this, protect our interest. Um, we can actually start building up our own. Hmm. You know what I should build is here in uh here right here. This would actually would be a good place for an actual um uh real industrial power. But yeah, we got into the Great War, people. I didn't even. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry guys, if I'm if I'm really in shock about that, I really insanely am. I did not expect to get into a great war, you know, like this. So, it's, yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to start building up an economy. So I'm going to need to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some glass here. So I can build some... So I can get some actual people there and start actually producing stuff and gosh dang the first great war and we're, I'm probably gonna lose it <laughs> oh gosh this is I mean we might win it we, we seriously might win but I have a feeling that this is not gonna be the case and we're going to yeah it looks like France is going to collapse um no it looks it does look like Russia is coming back though I mean, the Italians are pushing, and, well, we might, we might, it might happen. We might be able to win against this massive horde of troops. What's mainly costing us, though, right now is all the battles we've lost. But we'll see. I mean, we really don't know. We might eventually win this. We just have to hope that the French are smart enough to reinforce their men. Um, good thing they're keeping a good amount of soldiers right there, blocking up the British from conquering. Over here in our land, all of our land down there was lost. Kind of expected that to happen. Over here, have they sent any other people to try to... See, I know the British too well. I knew they were going to try to send in troops to go kill me. But luckily, I have my own army right here. Booyah! So I knew you guys were going to try that. Uh, they are conquering all my Greco Ethiopia Cup provinces again. Uh... It, it's always Ethiopia that falls first, guys. It's always Ethiopia. Mining output, production efficiency has increased. For some reason, Netherlands went to war with me. I don't know what I did to them. Let's see. What did I do to them? Um, they just want to acquire Greek Borno. Is that the province I just literally have? Um... Uh, Hey. Um. France joined in on my side. Yeah, they're not gonna win that. <laughs> I was a little bit worried and a little bit tempted to say that maybe they wouldn't join in because they have this big gigantic war going on. But France is a good ally. They don't give. They don't. They don't do that. But I do see this losing pretty quickly. So it looks like, oh uh, gosh, if this does not turn into a great war, we probably could be very happy of this, but this is going to lose pretty quickly. Um, luckily, am I in this? No, wait, we're actually winning this slightly, just slightly. Okay, we just have to keep it winning just for a little bit longer. We'll be fine. Um, we just also have to make sure that we defeat the, uh, the, uh, stupid, these guys. They are stupid, and apparently Brit Britain has now added their army into this. This is all becoming really confusing in terms of who's winning over here, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Um, over here in my land, though, I can kn I know what's going on, so let's go destroy this uh, British army. Because we can. Before they group up with this other army, we want to make sure they do not group up. Okay, and can we beat them? Come on, th there's only a couple men of theirs. Great, and they're grouping up with that army. Exactly why I didn't want to happen. But they did lose a lot, so we are, I think we are going to win this. Little skirmishes. Okay, good, they're gone. 
Let's go defeat these guys now. Okay. Go, my men, go! Whoa, shoot, we might actually lose this one. Uh, might? I, I don't know. It's, it's keeping... Oh, yeah, we're gonna lose this. Retreat, retreat. Yeah. That might have just cost us a little bit of the war. But let's see, how's the war going again? It's going 2% into their favor. Let's see, are they going to be requiring anything of me? No. As long Okay, so they're just going to make me pay war reparations, which I'm completely and utterly fine with. If they make me pay war reparations, that's fine. I don't really care. Just don't come in and occupy all my land, and don't destroy my only troops I have. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Oh gosh, but paying a couple years of war reparations, that actually is going to slow us down because that means that we can't declare war on the Ottomans for like six years. Oh no. Well, that... Uh, every time, people, every time I'm thinking I'm about to go declare war on the Ottomans, something inevitably happens. This wasn't even my fault. And the communists come. Add insult to injury, the communists come. Like, ah, uh, communist. Apparently, we're now starting to have other soldiers come into my land. Um, it's it's basically over, so I'm just going to surrender to the war leader. Yeah. I don't want to be occupied like crazy, so I'm just going to surrender now. Um, apparently I probably should have surrendered after that point, but yeah, now we're out of this war, and now my army is completely gone. Oh yeah, the, when you do this, it also means that you have to cut down the size for like five years. Oh gosh. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make three soldiers. Three soldiers. One, two. Two of these. One of these. Two of these. Okay, I have two more slots, so that means put one right here and one right here. Wait, not one of those. Uh, one of these. Okay, there we go. We got a 10 man army built up after our army had just been destroyed. I know France is probably not going to be happy. Happy that I ended that war, but there really wasn't much I could do in that situation. Um, also with the, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to accept that. Oh, well, let's see, Denmark has how big of an army? I mean, not Denmark, uh, these guys, Netherlands, they have 44 troops. No, I don't think I'm gonna give up on that war yet. I think after the British, like, I mean, after the French, like, recover, I think they're going to be able to, to crush them. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not giving up, if you guys are wondering. <sighs> it's just going to take them a little bit to get back up. Because <laughs> this is going to be a long war. Um, I'm building, I'm rebuilding up all my army, though, right now. Good news! Tension! Good-ish. The Ottomans are getting alliances again. No. Gosh dang. This turned so, like, the first Great War, and it had to be on the losing, I had to be on the losing side. Oh, gosh. I wasn't even really that. <laughs> never mind. Just never mind. Okay. So this is one of our soldiers. Um, do we have any of our boats here? No, all of our boats were destroyed somewhere. Oh, God. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna go send these guys down here. Just gonna group up what I can, maybe make a good sized decent army to go fight against. Uh managed to remove us from the sphere of the Russian Oh I wasn't a spear! Okay, I thought that was I thought that was happening. I was like, why is my economy doing like badly right now? I thought it was because I was in a sphere. It's a good thing I was right. Go back down here. Although I don't want to be in the in this sphere either, so we better quickly like figure out what we're going to do. And how did the? Okay, so America could not free the Chinese. That was kind of sad. Uh. 
And right now, we're kind of stuck with the powers of other people. And at least, there's lots of wars just like erupting out of nowhere. Like, where was all this activity of wars when we needed it? Oh gosh, and so, I should be done paying war reparations in how many years? War and dimitaries for how many years? I think I, I should stop paying in like, 1900, so... That's when we really should be like, strong again, and powerful again, and just all this kind of stuff, but... Until then, this is probably gonna be like, our next couple years is just trying to manage. Okay, there we go. Taxing the poor, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna to have to. Taxing the poor is the only way we're gonna get out of this. France is, by far, the most defeated I've ever seen in this entire game. Um, I apparently think I may have lost my, uh, colony. Yeah. The Dutch took it over, stripped me of what was rightfully my oil and my land. Uh, they stripped me of my, stripped me of my sulfide and everything. They just... Ashamed. They had a better alliance this time, I'll admit that. They just... Uh, uh, accept membership committee. Sure, I'll accept joining the Olympics. Probably I won't be hosting it anytime soon, but I'll accept nonetheless. Uh, Romania is now an independent nation. I could get an alliance with them. It'd probably be a good regional power. It wouldn't take that much to get into regional power, so. Yeah, but guys, I think that's about it for me today. Ugh. So many things. So many things happened in today's episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.